Good day everyone. We are the children and we are going to be discussing about George Alexander Kelly and his theory about the psychology of personal constructs. Before we start, I want you all to observe each photo and please do remember their numbers. Okay, so can we ask two volunteers to describe these photos? The first volunteer will describe photos 1 to 3 and the second volunteer will describe photos 4 to 6. Okay, thank you so much guys for the participation. Next, we have here the second part of the activity. So in this part, we will determine the construct and contrast. As you all can remember, in part A, we have photos with corresponding numbers. You see, on this side, we have a group of number which refers to the photos that we have on the previous slide. To determine the construct, we will choose two numbers which we think are similar, then describe why are they similar. And then, um, bilhin nga isa ka number is amo na siya ang atong nga contrast, which means siya na ang photo na para sa atong different or wala sa sang kapareho. After that, we need to describe nga ang naging different sa in what way or the in nga angle siya naging different compared sa duwa ka una nga photo nga gampilik ta. Okay guys, so we need three volunteers for numbers 1, 2, and 3. Thank you so much guys for your participation and to formally start our discussion, we have here a brief background about George Alexander Kelly. George Kelly was born on 28th of April 1905 on a farm near Perth, Kansas. George's father was Theodore Vincent Kelly and, and his mother is Elfleda Miriam Kelly. George died on March 6, 1967, when he was a professor of behavioral science at Brandeis University, Boston, USA. Next, let's talk about Kelly's education. First, he has a bachelor's degree in math and physics. Second, he has a master's degree in educational sociology. Third and the last, he has a doctorate degree in philosophy psychology. He received his PhD in psychology with focus on reading and speech disability in State University of Iowa. Next, Alexander Kelly believed that a person's processes are psychologically channelized by the ways in which the person anticipates events. So, good day everyone. My task for today is to discuss the personal construct theory. So, this theory was first proposed in the year 1955. Deconstrue means to interpret or to explain. So, ang amuni ko nga theory, naga explain nga kita ko nga mga tao may ara sang unique mental framework sa pag-view sang world. Also, Kelly believed that people have the capacity to interpret behaviors and events and use that understanding to guide their behaviors and predict the behavior of the others. Another thing about this personal construct theory naman is this theory is different bala sa iban nga mga personality theories in the sense that si Kelly, wala yan na mention ang unconscious mind, ego, motivation, and emotion sa amun nga theory. Kelly also suggested that people are just like scientists. In the term bala nga, we formulate hypothesis, collect data, and analyze results. So, sa iya, pagpati nga ang, tao, ang mga tao or kita are just like scientists, he coined the term man the scientist because each individual is theorizing about and testing their own life circumstances. In his theory, he mentioned the constructive alternativism which means that all of our present interpretations of the environment are open to revision or replacement. In the other word... Humans are being capable of changing their interpretation of life. So, for example, about the constructive alternativism is that may isabi ka high school student nga ang um, gasigisigis struggle ya sa iyang nga pag -squila. So, ma-insert na si iyang nga mind nga kinanglan niya mag-seek sang help sang therapist 
because butang mo big, gaka-feel siya nga depressa. So, masik siya sa therapist, kay gapati siya nga, ang reason sa iyang pag-struggle sa iyang pag is that he is de- she or he is depressed. Another example is that, exa- um, for example, ako, um, masaba ko sa isa ka adventurous nga experience. So, i e, ano ko na, masulod sa kun mind nga ang amuni nga adventure is ano, is exciting. Kaya then, ano, do kumbaga bala, madula ang akon nga ano, madula akon nga pagka-boring sa amun nga nga experience. Pero, on the other hand, gali, may taho nga ang pag-view sa amun nga experience is delikado, kakululbaan. Ka- In short explanation, so, from the word personal of the personal construct theory is that kita sa personal ta or sa aton gabasi ang aton nga mga explanation kung baga bala like for example sa kasabihan bala nga bawat tao ay may sariling paninindigan do ka amuna so sa personal mga construct dapat i-respect mo man ang personal construct sa iban nga tao kay lain-lain man ta perspective or view sa isa ka sitwasyon ba, sa isa ka bagay, or ano pa da. So, the types of constructs. The preemptive constructs freezes its elements for membership exclusively in its own realm, or this is what it is, it cannot be anything else. Or a construct which pre- preempts its elements for membership in its the own realm exclusively, is called a preemptive construct. This is the nothing but type of construction, like nothing but or except. And if this is a torpedo, it is nothing but a torpedo. Or when you're like that, you really like that. And for the conciliatory construct, permits its element to be belong to others' realms con- concurrently, but fixes their real membership. They can be anything else at the same time, but they are always. And conciliatory construct, a construct that which fixes the other real memberships of its element, is called a conciliatory construct. This is stereotype thinking. For the instance, let us say a person may say, my best friend is a rugby player, but he is quite different from all the, uh, from all the others. An exception is made of the individual and the stereotype is not invalidated. Constellatory, stereotypical construing is an efficient and easy way of making sense of the world. And for the propositional construct, leave its element open to alternative constructions or very flexible. Also, for the propositional construct, a construct which carries no imp- implications regarding the other real memberships of its elements is a propositional construct. This is an uncon- uncontaminated construction. Propositional construct should not be seen as the same as loose construction. Is about how personal constructs are related to one another, but loose construction is about the predicted outcome changing whenever a personal construct is used. Like today, I think apples are good for me, whereas yesterday I thought they were best given to Kato. The only connection between propositional con- construction and loose construing is that propositional construct may be used loosely, but they may equally be used tightly. So, what drives us according to Kelly? Anticipation is both the push and pull of the psychology of personal construct way back 1955. Also, anticipation is both the push and pull of the psychology of personal construct or by George Kelly. Anticipation is what motivates the person being both the push and pull of the psychology of personal constructs. And the second is, it is the future that tantalizes man, not the past. As a consequence, it is the future which tantalizes man, not the past. Always he reaches out to the future through the window of the present. The personal construct theory, or lastly, the psychological problem. Kelly thought that people have psychological problems because their construct systems are fault, not because of the, the residue of past traumatic experience. And the past experiences with an unloving parent or a tra- tragic incident may help explain why people construe the world the way they do, but they are not the cause of the problem. 
and lastly, all disorders result from, from faulty construct systems. And the last is, what is the root of all madness? The anxiety. Kelly argued that anxiety diminishes our capacity to predict future events, and when we are anxious, we fail to encode stimuli important in making predictions, leaving us feeling confused and disoriented. And also, anxiety or from not being able to predict future events, perceive inadequate construct system, the threat or awareness of imminent comprehensive change to one's core structures, and fear potential change is to peripheral construct or not core. And that's all. Thank you. View of Human Nature All human beings can develop their own theory which allow them to anticipate in future events accurately. It is like making decision and choosing alternative action. More valid information about the person could be discovered if the person unravels himself so he devises role constructs, repertory tests, or rep tests. So Kelly's assumption about human nature is that every person is a scientist, that scientists make an effort to forecast and manage phenomena. The CPC cycle. CPC stands for circumspection phase, preemption phase, control phase. First, the circumspection phase, that possible interpretation that can be labeled cognitive trial and error are tried. So, in this stage in which we consider issues propositionally from a variety of angles. Preemption phase, the number of constructs that seems especially relevant to the situation are chosen. Means we select what we believe to be the critical issue and eliminate the other option from consideration. So lastly, the control phase that the choice is made and a course of action is established. So, we choose the alternative action through which we anticipate the greater possibility for extension or defi definition of our construct system. So, in Kelly's insightful description of the three stages can help us discover what might be happening when decision-making becomes problematic. Personal construct theory that Kelly's theory has a 11 calories. First, the construction calorie that repeated events are similar. We can predict or anticipate how we will experience such an event in the future. So, means a person who has the personal construct that pleasure comes from material things would be likely to buy something to make themselves happy. The second colory, which is the individual colory, that people perceive event in different ways. So, each person is unique and construct event in his or her own way. Because of such individuality in their natures, people are not likely to create identical system. The third colory, which is the organization colory, that we arrange our construct in pattern according to our view of their similarities and differences. So, a person creates a system that will provide a way to function within it. So, there must be a way to move comfortably in order to examine in a way that provides solution to problem and contradiction that are sure to arrive. For example, why figuring out what the future has in store? Good day everyone, my name is Kin and I will be discussing the other corollaries. Fourth corollary is dichotomy corollary. This corollary explains their personal constructs have pairs. Good, bad, popular, and popular, intelligent, stupid, and so on are examples of dichotomous constructs. 
Next in line is choice corollary. So this states that we choose the alternative for each construct that works best for us, the one that allows us to predict the outcome of anticipated events. In other words, we choose the alternative in a dichotomous construct, which I have explained a while ago, that we see as extending our range of future choices. Range Corollary This construct is convenient for the anticipation of a finite range of events only, or constructs are limited to a particular range of inconvenience, that is, they are not relevant to all situations. Example is a dichotomous construct of tall or short. This too cannot be used in describing situation or things other than describing trees, buildings, people, or your crush, but you cannot use either of these words to describe a weather or a taste of ice cream. Another corollary is the experience corollary. So this construct explains that we continually revise our personal constructs as a result of experience. We evaluate and reinterpret our constructs as our environment changes. Constructs that work for us at the age of 13 may be useless or even harmful at the age of 20. So, it is actually important that we test our constructs because if not, there may be something wrong with how our mind works. Modulation corollary explains that some construct ranges can be modulated to accommodate new ideas, either permeable, others are impermeable. Permeable constructs are constructs that are still flexible which makes it more open for revision. Or it can also be a construct is permeable if it admits newly perceived elements to its context. It is impermeable if it rejects elements on the basis of their newness. So next corollary is fragmentation corollary. We believe to a belief that are contradicting to each other. Example, saying you love animal while eating steak or fried chicken. Second to the last is commonality corollary. This construct tells that many of our experiences are similar and are shared, leading to similarity of constructs with others. Or our individual constructs are unique to us, other people may hold similar constructs. Similar experiences by people do not necessarily mean the same construct, just as a similar construct and not necessarily mean the same experience. Lastly, socially corollary. We try to understand how other people think and predict what they will do, and we modify our behavior accordingly. Our personal constructs can interact to others' personal constructs. A concept proposing that an individual's ability to communicate or otherwise interact with other individuals is based on an understanding of other personal constructs. Critic of George Kelly One critic is that it is overly complex and difficult to understand for both practitioners and lay people. Lack empirical evidence to support some of its key concepts such as idea of personal construct. PCP's focus on individual subject experience may limit its applicability to social and cultural context. Concept of Humanity by George Kelly so It suggests that people have a fundamental desire to understand and make sense of their experiences in the world drive to create meaning and order help individuals to develop a unique set of personal contracts or ways of interpreting and organizing information which in turn shape in their perception and behaviors.